Yeah, welcome back. So temperatures well above average once again as most of us are into the mid-80s, some lower 80s out there also. Lots of sunshine out there, just a few high clouds as you make your way off to the west. Now here's a look at our Scotts Bluff Sky Cam at 86 degrees right now, wind north-northeast around 10 miles per hour. So even with the sunshine, temperatures in the mid-80s, we still have a northerly flow. So when that flips around to a southerly direction, we're really going to warm up, especially for the day tomorrow. So low to mid 80s for most of us do have some 70s on the map 79 at Kimball 76 at Harrison 78 right now at Gordon and Cheyenne at 76 degrees uh, the winds still from that northerly or even north northeasterly direction for most of the viewing area and wind speeds right now 5 to 15 miles per hour. So the satellite loop showing that we're tracking one band of clouds uh, just off to the south and west of Scotts Bluff. So partly cloudy skies uh, along the I-25. I-80 corridor in Wyoming with mainly clear skies across the Nebraska panhandle. So here's what it looks like on the map. That low pressure system that gave us the rain and the really cool air with the cloud cover as we started the week really moving slowly but moving off to its north and east. So it's picking up a lot of moisture and putting it down over the Midwest. But this high pressure system has been slowly working its way off to the east. It's now in charge of our forecast, giving us that sunshine, but we still have that cool northerly flow because of that. This high continues to move off to the east as we go through the next couple of days. A really nice warm sector ahead. The clouds will increase a little, but that southerly wind will really start to pick up, and we will continue to warm up as we go through the day tomorrow. So temperatures quickly falling back to the 70s, 60s. Going to have temperatures during the overnight falling back through the 50s and into the upper 40s to make our way uh, for low temperatures tomorrow. But we should make it all the way up into the upper 80s and even some lower 90s, especially into the Scotts Bluff area for tomorrow. Now we got partly cloudy skies. You can see some moisture on this map. We'll put a 10% chance of some showers and thunderstorms, so a really low chance. And then as we make our way through the day on Saturday, starting off in the lower 50s, partly cloudy skies turn mostly cloudy, but still we should stay dry all the way until around Sunday morning. That's when our next chance of some significant rain gets here. So enjoy being in that warm sector, even though we will have a few more clouds. Hey, here's the low pressure system we're tracking. It will mainly track to the north, but its cold front will make its way through. By Sunday morning, you can see uh, there's already some moisture developing. That will move off to the east into the panhandle and then eventually into central Nebraska as we go through the day on Saturday. So uh, it, uh, through Sunday, that is. So sun Saturday looks mainly dry. Sunday is our next chance of some significant moisture out there, even though we will start to cloud up as we go through the weekend. Jet stream right over us, so we got the really warm air staying through at least Saturday. We did put those highs in the lower 90s on Saturday, but uh, temperatures falling as we make our way through later on. So here's a look at the extended forecast. 73 for Sunday with the rain and the thunderstorms. Monday will put partly cloudy, 40% chance of moisture, 30% Tuesday, and just a very slight chance of some showers and storms on Wednesday. But temperatures falling back through the 60s and then near 70 on Thursday with partly cloudy skies. Angel? Thanks, Justin. A group of senators are putting their heads together trying to find...